so now let's talk about the sleeve for this tutorial now I have already um, made a video showing you how to create a sleeve pattern and it's a very simple basic like three to five minute video showing you how to create that sleeve pattern so I would suggest you go ahead and go check out that video I'll leave it in a info bar above or and also I'll be leaving it in the description bar below now let me give you a few tips before going over to the video tutorial and getting started on that now in the video you will see me um pretty much making my markings on a pattern paper and the difference between my pattern paper in that video and your pattern paper that you will need for this particular tutorial is you want to make sure that your pattern paper is folded like so so for instance in the video this is how the pattern turns out. It's a center right here. I, I label a center and it's, like, it's a raw edge on the pattern paper and then I label it as a center and then you have your armhole curve right there. And that's what the pattern tutorial looks like on the video. But for the sake of this tutorial, you will need to make it look like this. So in order for you to make it look like this, a full sleeve, you will want to get your pattern paper, fold it in half, and then begin plotting your points from that half center, from that center that is now folded. You, you will then begin plotting your points from that center, and you will follow all the same instructions that I do and all the stuff that I do on that video tutorial. The only difference is it's not seen in the video, but you want to make sure you fold that pattern paper in half. So you want to make sure you're doing it on a folded pattern paper. And that's the first tip. Okay, so the next, th the next tip that I want to give you before going over to that video and doing your pattern, um, you need to go ahead and take the proper measurements for this particular tutorial in order to create the right pattern for this tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the measurements that you will need to take for this particular tutorial and the measurements you will need to apply to the actual pattern. All right, so for the actual pattern, you will have to take your measurement from your shoulder to your right above your um, elbow. So you need to take it from the shoulder point right above the elbow like that, like right above that elbow you want to make that mark or plot that point and use that as your um, the length of your sleeve so that's going to be the length of your sleeve pattern here your sleeve pattern for this particular tutorial that will be the length of your sleeve pattern then you want to go around go ahead and um, take the measurement of your bicep right there where you pretty much near where you mark that sleeve pattern. So you want to take that measurement there. And what I would suggest you do is when you're taking that measurement, make sure you're kind of flexing a little bit. Make sure you're flexing because when you flex, your muscles flex and they become bigger. So you want to make sure you're getting the proper measurement to um, where your sleeves won't be too tight, which with the fabric that is being used is, you know, well actually you can use any fabric for this tutorial, but you wanna just make sure your sleeves are not too tight. And what I would suggest you do, because this um, particular tutorial is not meant for the sleeve to fit super snug, so add about an inch and a half or an inch to that measurement that you get um, for that bicep. So your sleeve length will be from, from your shoulder down to the length of your pattern paper. And then this width here will be that bicep measurement that you just took with an inch or an inch and a half added to it. And that will be your pattern. Now for the ruffle part of the sleeve, you will still need to measure from if you want to measure from your 
elbow right here all the way down to your knuckles it's gonna be you might want to get someone to help you because it's really so you want to measure from that bicep measurement or that sleeve measurement the sleeve length measurement you want to measure it to your knuckles so all the way down to your knuckles yes your knuckles so take that measurement down front to your knuckles and you just need to write that measurement down so just write that measurement down on a piece of paper always keep a pen and a paper handy when you're doing sewing projects because you're, it's a lot of math and calculations and measurements and all that stuff involved so write that measurement down all right so we've gotten our measurements um together for our sleeve pattern now all you need to do is go ahead and head over to that video tutorial on how to create um your sleeve pattern for this particular video and go ahead and come back all right so let's go ahead and get started on our ruffles all right so the ruffle part of the sleeve let me show you guys what i did for the pattern for that and then I'll show you the rest of the step okay so what I did was I took the measurement of the elbow of my sleeve pattern here my sleeve pattern and I divided that in half and then I created a, I took a, a an extra piece of paper um, pattern paper or whatever and then I drew a line a straight line of that measurement half of my elbow that's the that's the line there and then remember the measurement that I told you to take from your elbow to your knuckles that measurement goes down from that line so you're gonna measure across um, the half of the width of your elbow which is your sleeve the bottom part of your sleeve you're gonna measure half of the half of the width of that and then you're gonna go down the length of your elbow to your knuckles so my measurement for my bicep was six was 12 inches so i did 12 inches divided by two which is six so this measurement this width right here is six inches and then the length of my elbow to my knuckles was 15 inches so the length here is 15 inches so the width going across is six inches, which is half of my elbow. And then the length going down is 15 inches, which is from my elbow to my knuckles. And then what I did was I created a rectangle by connecting all the lines. So, so once I measured down 15 inches, I made a um, another six inch horizontal line going across the same way I did the top and then I, I labeled this line here hem because you want to make sure you know the difference between the hem of the sleeve and then a part of the ruffle sleeve that connects to the actual sleeve pattern so make sure you mark hem on the bottom of that pattern and then I went ahead and connected those two points right there and created a rectangle and once I created my rectangle I went down to the hem at the very bottom of the hem and I measured up three inches twice so I went up three inches and I made a mark and then I created another six inch line and then I went up another three inches and I made a mark and I made another six inch line so you have two lines going across and then you have your hem and then once I made those two lines I then went and um, decided to make my cut lines for my pattern and I went to the top here on the other end which is the opposite end of the hem I made um, on the seam that will connect to the actual sleeve I measured two inches apart and this created two cut lines for me to now um, go ahead and cut on my cut lines and once you see these lines up here um, I measured down an eighth of an inch um, pretty much for the technique that I showed you earlier where I cut up to that point right there and I stopped. And the second line was I accidentally measured a quarter of an inch instead of an eighth of an inch because I was dealing with my kids at the moment. So just ignore that second line. Just go ahead and measure 
an eighth of an inch down from that um, top line that you created for your elbow line. And that will be your um, cut line where you stop cutting. So then once you do all that and make all of your markings or whatever, um, go ahead and cut out your rectangle. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut up to our to our cut line. both flaps with the edge of each part of the fabric so you want to keep kind of maneuvering it until all right and I think I'm liking it right here just straighten it out and make sure your fabric is on fold perfectly no ruffles or none of that So I'm thinking I'm, I'm liking that right there. Like I said, this is a cheap way of creating a circle skirt, a rep, a peplum, and all that good stuff. Now I have my cutting mat up underneath here, so I'm gonna use my rotary cutter. We've completed our first ruffle. Now we're going to take off this one. This, um, we're going to take off that right there. And as you can see, it kind of created a nice little curve. I'm going to clean up my curve a little bit because it was just so... easy super easy let's move this one out the way because now we have to create two more so now what I want you to do is this first line that you created three inches away from that hem line go ahead and cut at that line all right so now I'm going to take this new one with the with the extra three inches on here. I'm gonna take, I mean, the extra three inches cut off. I'm gonna take this one and now I'm gonna redo the same step that I just did yeah. with this particular one here. So now we're going to 
cut away at our last line here. All right, and this is our final ruffle, and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing that we just did for the other two ruffles with the smaller piece. Now, what I didn't show you with the other two ruffles is that I created two for each ruffle. So make sure that when you're creating, before you cut the other pieces off, that you're making two for each sleeve. So make two ruffles per um, technique that you, like each time that you do the technique, make two ruffles instead of just one even though i'm just showing one on the video make sure you make two because there's two sleeves not just one 